Well, if like old mate, you're using Windows 10, you know that on occasion, you actually manually have to check for your Windows updates. However, right at this point in time, that might be a little bit dangerous. It's news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, checking for updates could accidentally force you onto the Insiders program, and you may end up getting beta code into your normally running Windows 10 machine. This is Backyard Tech News. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is news time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Saturday morning, and I wanna thank Dominic Hayes, member of the Backyard Tech Facebook group, for alerting me to this one. This is from PC World from uh, early this morning, my time. Careful Windows 10, careful, sorry. Windows 10 checks for updates button may download beta code. Microsoft said it uses updates issued in the latter half of the month to beta test non-security features. Short and long of it is, even if you're not part of the Windows Insider program, you could end up with beta code being installed into your normally running Windows 10 machine. Let's get into the article. And if you're wondering, I am sitting in my beloved MX-17 for this one because after the disaster of Slon 2 and breaking it again, I needed to go into a more friendly operating system that I actually enjoy using. Okay, let's get into this article. Some users are adventurous and seek to be the first to use new Windows 10 features via Microsoft's, Microsoft's Windows Insider program, which I'm not part of. Others aren't. And just want a stable system to use day-to-day -day basis. Okay, now the Linux people out there are going to laugh at this because they're going to see this and say they want to use a stable system. They should be on Linux. And that's a valid argument as well. If you're one of the latter, don't go clicking Windows Updates. Check for Updates button willy-nilly, or you may unwittingly join the ranks of the Windows pioneers, even if you were simply hoping to, uh, for a patch to fix a problem with your operating system. In a blog post, blog post I'm sorry, this week, Microsoft revealed that those users who click the Check for Updates button, Settings, Updates, Security, Windows Updates, are opted into testing new Microsoft features on a one-time basis. If they happen to click the button during the third or fourth week of the month, Microsoft calls these updates CND releases and issues them to those who are seeking them when they check or when they click the update button. Um, that's something I never do actually. I never ever click that update button. I never have, basically. I've, I've always set Windows Update to minimal updates only. That's it. Anything else, I go hunting for the specific piece of software I need, for want of a better term. Um, you can. I'll leave a link in the description below to this. If you're in the Facebook group, click the link um, to... Dominic's um, share in the Facebook group but for everyone else I'll leave a link to the article continuing on Michael Fortin the corporate vice president in charge of Windows described the nature of the updates in a blog post quote the intent of these releases is to provide visibility into and enable testing of non-security fixes that will be included in the next uh, update Tuesday release Separately, Microsoft, uh, close quote, sorry, separately, Microsoft said it also issues on-demand releases that don't follow the standard schedule in order to provide critical fixes. Quote, they are used in atypical cases where we detect an issue that, and cannot wait for the next monthly release because the device must be updated immediately either to fix the security vulnerabilities or to solve quality issues impacting multiple de devices, close quote, Fortin added. The problem with issuing these so-called C and D, close quote, releases is that occasionally they introduce new problems. In late November, for example, Microsoft issued a patch that caused Surface Book 2s to crash with BSODs, throwing a threat, thread not handled error. The patch was issued in the last week of November, meaning that according to Microsoft and How To Geek, 
it would only have been issued to those who went looking for it via the check updates button. Microsoft rescinded the patch, but the damage was done. I've said this many times, don't go willy-nilly clicking check for updates. You will end up inside the Insiders program. That's been, well, I've known it for a long time. I would have assumed most people did. Um, what this means to you, Microsoft, Microsoft's blog post notes that it is it, it has to protect millions of devices each month. And the best way to do this is to acquire a data assessing how well its patches are functioning. What's not clear is whether the optional CND releases are actually known uh, as options. Instead, it seems that users seeking to seeking out a patch for Windows between regular updates should proceed with caution. I've known you do not go clicking window check for updates willy-nilly for years. In fact, I know it right back to Windows 7. There was a problem with Windows 7 where you would end up getting the occasional beta patch, whether it was um, an MSE patch, whether it was a... Um, a, um, a security center patch, whether it was a firewall patch, that's been going on for a long time. Checking for updates constantly, especially towards the end of the month, can be problematic. And if you don't want to be part of the Windows Insider program, you don't do it. But as the article says, there are those out there that want to get a patch for stability. So they go around checking for updates and Bob's your uncle, you end up within the Insider program, you're starting to get beta releases to what was your original stable system. Okay, now let me come from the Linux side of things. With Linux, if you set your repos to stable repos rather than testing repos or bleeding edge repos, you're guaranteed a stable Linux system. That's been known for years. Same with Unix, the BSDs, whatever. Unless you're someone who wants to be at the very leading bleeding edge of an operating system, I, I tend to go for stable, right? My MX-17-1, I got stable releases only. Same with Open Man Driver. I have Open Man Driver set to only to the stable subsystem, which is main 32, main, um, main stable, etc. Right? Because what you can find, and this doesn't just affect you know, Windows 10, occasionally you can find that if you're at the leading edge of uh, on a testing repo that hasn't been fully, say, finalized, you might get an update that may, I'm not saying it will, but it may break your system. Same thing can happen here with Windows 10. And whilst Windows 10 can break very easily, and most Windows users know that, you know, I've come close to breaking this a few times. You don't go willy-nilly checking for updates unless you want to be inside that Windows Insider program where you do get the latest beta, beta releases, but you're going to want to make sure, right, that you have a backup of your operating system before you add the beta releases, because otherwise, if it breaks your windows, you're up you-know-what creep without a dead set fed ink and paddle. Don't go hitting the check for updates. You know, you don't... When it comes to this sort of stuff, you don't want to be all of a sudden optioned into something you don't want to be in. If you do want to be in it, sign up for it. But if you don't, don't go doing it. Otherwise, you will end up in this state. You'll end up with CND updates that are a little bit funky. As we saw there, the Surface 2 Pro update, it called, caused BSODs, which I knew about. They had to pull the patch, too late, damage done. If you're a Windows 10 user and you don't want to break it, don't go willy-nilly checking for updates. See if you can find a, a, a patch or something else. Or if you do want stability, just wait for the update to come out as an as a automatic update. Even though we know the automatic updates over the last few months have been problematic, right? And they have been. We've had... Um, Files going missing, 
we've had bad patches causing BSODs. If you set up Windows as a just straight and you tell the update system to only check for updates according to Microsoft's schedule and you just do the minimum updates, which is what I've got with my Windows 10 machine, I don't have a problem. 90% of the time I don't have a problem. So there we are. Be careful is the best way I can say that. There we are. Another news story done. Stick around. Don't forget tonight, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time, GMT, UTC plus 11. We will have the Saturday night edition of the Backyard Tech Channel weekend live stream conversations. Enjoy your Saturday, guys. Cheers.